Hi, welcome to Fusion Body Therapy. This is the first in a series of videos that we're going to be doing. Um, one in showing you what we do here at Fusion Body Therapy Clinic, um, promoting our services, and also showing you some stretches. The main thing we're going to be doing is focusing on our 10 essential stretch class. We'll be going over the 10 essential stretches that we utilize in our class to uh, eliminate or at least keep at bay a lot of dysfunction throughout the body. Um, from head to toe, there's different patterns of dysfunction that we'll address um, while going through the stretches and different stretches in order to get to the right position and release the particular muscles as we isolate them. We target very specific muscles. I'll teach you how to target those muscles exactly and how to stretch them um, and get a definitive result. So making sure that you get a true release. The first one we're going to be working on today is elevator scap. So elevator scap starts up in here in your occiput, comes all the way down onto the spine of your scapula, and it has a movement of forward bend and rotation. So it will lift and rotate your neck. It creates a lot of stress in people, a lot of headaches. Generally, uh, for a trigger point perspective, you'll get headaches that are created from um, stabbing the eye just above the eye, so a lot of really horrible trigger points. A lot of people um, do tend to present in my clients as, and even myself about them many times, as pretty horrible headaches. A lot of people mistake them as migraines and will rub that bottom part of the um, attachment thinking it's a huge knot. It's actually not a knot, it's just a really thick muscle. And they'll feel that because it's underlying your trapezius. So this large muscle throughout here, it underlies it, but it creates a lot more tension than the actual trapezius muscle. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is showing you how to utilize your body to get in the right position to stretch release it. The shoulder blade sits on the back of your shoulder, kind of about the size of my hand, and what you want to do, because the muscle attaches to the spine of the shoulder blade, like that, up into your neck, which is up here, top of your basic skull, we want to actually rotate that out of the way, which will pull the bottom of the muscle all the way down. In order to do that, we're going to rotate the whole shoulder around to begin the stretch. Generally, people will do this to try and stretch it, but all you're getting is the top part and top end of the actual attachment, so you get the insertion without getting the right part of the muscle to release. In order to get that stretch um, correctly happening, you bring your arm up that you want to stretch on the side that you're going to stretch. Drop it back like a tricep stretch and start with a tricep stretch. If you need to, push up against the wall and lean into it till this becomes nice and flat. So there's no gap there. If you're up against the wall, you'll feel a gap there. Grab your elbow with your opposing arm, pull it in. Sit back a bit so you can release it back until you feel like. This is rough between the shoulder blades. So hands here right there. Resting right where that is. This is where that muscle is. So you're in between those two muscles. Hold it there for 30 seconds to a minute. Keep breathing the whole time. You'll feel it's really soft a little bit, just in order to get that position. Now that's the start position. In order to get there, there's lots of different positions that I'll, I will show you um, in the series of videos which you can utilize this stretch in order to keep this open. One of them, as I said, is up against the wall. Um, another one you can do laying down. The main thing is pushing this down so you can feel some bounce there. You want to give it as much bounce to release into there, and that's rotating shoulder blade in and around. Now, from here, you're going to slide your hand back into your occiput. So, this is your occiput back here, the base of your skull. So, where my finger is, you'll feel it a little um, ridge. Hook your fingers into that ridge just so you've got some, some support. Take a deep breath in, as you come forward with your head, you're not going to come straight down forward, you're going to go towards your other knee in the direction where your elbow is pointing. So your elbow should be pointing outwards and a little bit forward. Go in that direction until you feel a little tension barrier. So you'll, you'll move your neck forward. If your neck's really tight, you won't go very far to get that first tension barrier. So go until you feel it, hold it there. Push back ever so slightly against your hand. Don't pull your hand forward. Just push back ever so slightly with your neck and your head with about 10% of your energy. And I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. 
So counting it down nice and slow, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Come a little bit further forward with your neck, pulling that head down until you feel that next barrier. So the barrier of tension should be ever so slight when you feel it going easy, easy, and then, oh, there's a barrier. Hold it there. Take a breath in. Push back against 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Letting go, coming forward till you get that next barrier. Oh, there it is. Pushing back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming forward, the forward, and going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Now in this position where I am, I'll repeat this a couple more times, those cycles of 10, you'll notice I look like I'm leaning over. I'm actually not. My elbow has pulled my head. I've come as far down as possible. In side position, I'm trying to keep up with my spine as much as I possibly can so I can fully extend this muscle. When you release off, you'll feel the release back there at 100%. It's just, it'll fall right back to where it should be going you'll want to do the other side pretty much straight away because the release is really lovely. You'll feel elongated, your spine will decompress. You'll have to do the other side in order to get that to feel even. Otherwise, you'll be doing this for the rest of the day. So don't just do the one side. If you've got the tension on the one side, just hold that particular side a little bit longer. So instead of doing um, the three repetitions of that 10 for 10 seconds, so 10% of your energy for 10 seconds, um, do it five times. So get a little bit more out of it and you'll feel a lot of difference. Uh, you'll find that when you've got a headache coming on, you can do this pretty much anywhere. I'm sitting in a chair. You can do it in your office when you're at the computer. You can do it while you're on the phone. You can still do it in a stretches position. You can talk on speakerphone. You can do it while trying to make a video. It's pretty much a, a stretch that you can take anywhere and do anywhere. All you need to know is the technique, your body, and a lot of practice and there's nothing better than giving back to your body than practicing your stretches. Take the time out of the day. You can do this, as I said, while you're at your office. Take five minutes out and just give yourself a stretch. You can still read whatever's on your computer or read whatever you need to read in the book or sit at the newspaper um, and you can still stretch. It's not gonna stop you. So utilize every bit of spare time to open up that tension, decompress your spine, enable your body to um, have an ergonomically better position so you've got more efficiency throughout the day in your structure by releasing off that soft tissue and you'll get the most out of it. So make sure to do the other side, once you've done that one side, follow that up with grabbing the front of your neck because this has an opposing muscle, which is sternocleidomastoid, which comes from here all the way down into there. It's got two attachments at the bottom and one attachment at the top, right on the clavicle there. So you'll feel it right there. One thing you can do is bring your fingers nice and flat, like so. so. Put them up against the table, get them flat, then let them sink right on top of that bone where you feel the muscle. Take a deep breath in, and just let them sit there. Don't push, take a breath in, work your breath. And out, you'll feel a lot of tension as you breathe in and out from that muscle. and it'll start to get, it'll go from a sharp feeling to a more dull feeling. And once you've done that about four or five times, let it go, tilt your head in to that same side, so bring your ear slightly towards your shoulder, grab that muscle. So use the flat of that finger and your thumb and pinch it. Start at the bottom, where it's easy to grab. Pull it out ever so slightly. If you're finding you're having trouble doing that tilt, you'll find a lot of people will start to tilt and you'll come back up. So make sure to keep your, your body tilted, use a mirror if you can, so you can see what you're doing, and you can grab that real easily. Hold it, that's all you've really got to do. Give it a little pump if you need to, so pump that thumb, a little squeeze of it, pull it out if you need to, you can go up and down, a little release, and then come up to the next position, 
and these are awesome when you've got a headache. So to really release off a lot of that tension, you'll free up a lot of that neck tension. When you've got a headache, that is coming from your neck. Not all headaches will come from your neck. So it's not a cure for all headaches and all tension. And the further you go up, the harder it is to grab, and it's a lot sharper. So do those two, just as a, a quick, well, if you feel like popping a, a painkiller, try these before you do that, because you'll find you'll get a lot more release, and you're not masking the, the issue, you're just addressing it. And you can address these two quite easily on your own. Make sure to do both sides, with the front and back of the neck, and release off as much as you can. That's the first video in our series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos, come back to fusionbodytherapy.com. That's fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N, body, B-O-D-Y, therapy, T-H-E-R-A-P-Y.com. Or you can call us up on 041-628-4176. My name is Daniel Isaacs. I'm the principal soft tissue therapist here. Uh, we do everything from cupping, remedial massage, sports, Swedish, um, acupuncture, myofascial dry needling. We like to address dysfunctional muscles and dysfunction within the body and make you walk out feeling decompressed, taller, elongated, open, clear-headed, um, feeling a lot better about yourself, having your body work efficiently and having a lot more energy throughout the day. Uh, so you don't have to come every day or every week and you can really address a lot of these issues yourself. I like to give you guys the tools so you can treat yourselves and come back when you need us. So go onto our website, give us a call, 01-628-4176 or find us online. Hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and we will have more. Thank you.